while the exploration of the Martian surface has already revealed some breathtaking discoveries, the exact composition of the planet's interior has long been an unsolved mystery. Thanks to cutting-edge technology, NASA recently succeeded in getting one step closer to deciphering this galactic mystery. Equipped with a seismometer and a heat flow probe, the InSight lander has been investigating the deeper rock layers of the red planet for almost three years. InSight is not only intended to keep an eye on the current composition of Mars, but also to investigate the earliest development processes that gave the celestial body its characteristic shape. Just what information the InSight lander has already been able to provide in this regard, and what questions still need to be answered in the future, will reveal to you now. Want to learn more about the groundbreaking discoveries and great mysteries in the universe on a regular basis? Then don't forget to subscribe to Simply Space and never miss one of our videos in the future. If you enjoy the content of our posts, we would greatly appreciate a thumbs up. The InSight Lander In May 2014, NASA presented the public with its ambitious plans. At that time, the renowned space agency announced that it was working on building the InSight Lander. This Mars mission was meant to answer a number of burning controversies that had been dividing experts into different camps for many years. The data transmitted by the technical equipment should not only help to fathom the nature of Mars, but also decipher the mysteries of all rocky planets of the solar system. That categorization of celestial bodies, to which our Earth also belongs, shares a common origin. Specifically, the origin of the planets is based on a process called accretion in the ranks of astronomers. During this process, a cosmic object collects matter by its gravity and the effects of tidal forces. As the terrestrial body grows in size, its interior begins to heat up. This process, in turn, is accompanied by a drastic reshaping, at the end of which a core, a mantle, and a crust are formed. The remaining rocky planets in our solar system, in contrast to the Earth, were reshaped later by a process called differentiation. This process, which describes the formation of different materials from a once homogeneous mass, is still one of the great mysteries of modern research. Experts hope that InSight's in-depth investigation of Mars will provide new clues about the earliest evolutionary processes of such celestial bodies. After the originally planned launch was postponed by more than two years due to a leak in the seismometer, the time finally came on May 5, 2018. InSight left our blue home planet and set off for the fabled red planet. On November 26 of the same year, InSight touched down as planned on the surface of the celestial body, which is covered in iron oxide dust. In order to perform its work profitably, the lander was equipped with various measuring instruments. The so-called seismic experiment for interior structure is used to make precise seismic measurements on the red planet. By investigating such activities, important insights into the history of the planet can also be gained. The heat flow and physical properties package instrument serve the purpose of determining the heat flow in the Martian sediment. A 15-inch long and approximately 2-inch thick RAM probe was used for this purpose. In the run-up to the mission, the Warsaw-built device had the goal of penetrating about 16 feet into the Martian soil. The plan was for the RAM probe to stop about every 2.5 feet in order to then carry out special heat measurements. This was to be done by calling up a preset heat output in each case. With the aid of the temperature sensors located on the head of the probe, the heating of the drill head and the rate at which the heat was spreading would then be measured. In the course of this procedure, the experts hoped to learn more about the physical properties of the Martian soil. However, the deployment of the equipment was not to be. In the spring of 2019, the RAM probe got stuck in the ground at a depth of about one foot. In fact, the friction between the heat flow probe and the Martian soil was much lower than the scientists had expected. After the RAM probe was freed by a robotic arm and able to resume its task, it was not long before the next problems arose. The instrument had once again become wedged in the ground. However, since this time it was not possible to free the RAM probe from its awkward position, the earthly scientists had no choice but to end the experiment at the beginning of the year 2021. However, this doesn't mean that the InSight mission has been a failure. In truth, 
The seismometer has already provided some important information that gives us a previously unknown insight into the interior of the celestial body. The interior of the red planet. Thanks to the successful InSight mission, terrestrial scientists were privileged to record another galactic milestone. With its complex measuring instruments, the lander succeeded in registering more than 700 Mars quakes. With the help of the recorded data, researchers managed to make the first direct measurement of an alien planet's interior. Although more in-depth research is needed in the future to fully understand the tectonic makeup of the red planet, the information gathered so far provides important clues as to what lies beneath the red, rust-covered surface of Mars. On the one hand, the knowledge gathered in this regard helps us to better understand the current structure of the red planet. In addition, this information can also be used to reconstruct how the celestial body was formed in the past. The seismological measurements carried out at the landing site of the InSight lander made it possible for the first time to constrain the thickness of the Martian crust in the corresponding region. Furthermore, taking gravity and topography into account, it's even possible to map the crust thickness of the entire celestial body. Since experts have been waiting for several decades to unravel this cosmic mystery, the successful completion of this endeavor was tantamount to a galactic blockbuster. The data that InSight has so far transmitted to terrestrial scientists supports two different models. On the one hand, it's conceivable that the Martian crust is relatively thin and composed of two layers. The higher, porous layer may have been chemically altered over the millennia. According to researchers, however, the underlying layer is likely to still have its almost unchanged original composition. In contrast to this is the thesis that the crust of the red planet is not composed of two, but rather three layers. If the first case is correct, the top layer would have a thickness of about 12 miles. This would make it much thinner than the experts had expected. If the Martian crust has three layers, the first layer would be twice as thick. The Planetary Core Currently, researchers assume that the planet's entire crust is between 15 and 45 miles thick. In addition, some evidence suggests that Mars' natural shell is enriched with radioactive elements. These would strongly heat the crust layers at the expense of the planet's interior. Another interesting fact is that Mars has an extremely thick lithosphere. This outermost crustal layer is about twice as thick as the lithosphere of our blue home planet. This natural composition could ultimately explain why there have been no plate tectonic processes on Mars. If we go further into the interior of the celestial body, we come across the mantle. This structure, which encloses the planet's core, consists of silicates and is composed of a single layer. The core of the red planet is apparently much larger than the experts predicted. For example, the data collected by InSight brought the realization that the heart of Mars has a radius of about 1,100 miles. In addition, the information also confirmed a thesis that had long been considered probable among scientists. The Martian core is liquid. Furthermore, the information obtained indicates that the chemical composition of the innermost region of the planet holds some surprises. Since the corresponding areas are less massive than expected, it's reasonable to conclude that lighter elements are also present within the molten nickel and iron, which ultimately reduce the density. On the basis of these circumstances, insightful conclusions can be drawn about the development of the planet itself. For example, so that the red planet could accumulate the appropriate light elements, for example hydrogen, oxygen, carbon, and sulfur in its core, it must have formed very early on. It's possible that Mars was already formed when the solar nebula still existed, the interstellar molecular cloud from which our solar system ultimately formed. Consequently, Mars was possibly formed much earlier than our blue home planet. However, the important findings already recorded during the InSight mission are only the prelude to an even more detailed investigation of the planet's interior. One of the tasks that the lander will have to complete by the end of its mission in December 2022 is to answer an overriding question. What is the cause of the numerous Mars quakes that have been recorded in the Cerberus Fossae trenches? In order to plumb this topic, experts hope that further quakes will occur on the red planet in the future which will be different from the previous ones. The hope of the scientists lies not least in an increased intensity of tremors. The Mars quakes registered so far were so weak that we would probably not even have felt them on Earth. 
stronger quakes and the accompanying measurement of the seismic waves would help the researchers to fathom the interior of our galactic neighbor even more comprehensively. Now it's up to you. What are your thoughts on today's video? Just write us your opinion, your feedback, and suggestions in the comments. You're also welcome to take a look at the exciting videos that we've linked for you at the end. Just click on one of the thumbnails in the credits. Thanks for watching, take care, and we'll see you next time.